We're now going to move on to the financed by section of the balance sheet. This shows how your business was funded by equity investment or by retained profits. So what we need to do is list the investment to a company and we haven't actually set that up yet. So we're going to have to do that now and we're going to show it going into the cash flow. We determine our equity investment by looking at the amount of money we need to make our bank balance survivable, I'd like to say. So we put in a figure there that makes sense, that makes our bank balance uh, survivable, that we're not running up too much of an overdraft. And we also include the net profit for that year that we have retained. So we call this total shareholders funds or total shareholders equity. It's basically the net profit added to the equity investment. And we can see it doesn't balance. So what we do here is we do a quick troubleshoot. We see that we're at by 4,000 euro. Now most of the time when your balance sheet doesn't balance, it seems to always be the case that it's only a minor thing. So the first step to rectify this is to look at your assumptions and see if there's something in your assumptions that you haven't, that's around 4,000 euro. And you see that there, total fixed assets is 4,000 euro. And we haven't made the double entry for 4,000 euro. We've shown it in the balance sheet, but we haven't shown it in the cash flow as money going out because it's fixed assets and we haven't shown those fixed assets being bought in month one. So what we need to do to fix this situation is to simply include the purchase of fixed assets in our outflows from our cash flow statement. All we do is insert a row and include our outflow for of fixed assets. And we reference back to our assumptions. And we include the computers of 3000 and our office equipment of 1000. Add them together. Now what we're doing is we're totaling the, the new column that we, or the new row that we've created. And we just do the same with the total outflows. And as you see there, our balance sheet balances. So we have year one finished. We're gonna move on to year two which is more of the same. So well, I'm not gonna show you this in the video, but it's more of the same. You do the same thing as you did in year one, which are uh, fixed assets, current assets, current liabilities. And I'm just gonna skip through to that now, okay? If you look at the finance buy section, you'll see that we don't balance again. So it's another problem that we have to sort out. And first thing that we need to do is check that our net profit is added to the net profit shown in the previous year, the retained net profit. So we still aren't balanced and we're out by 9,600. A likely reason for this is our debtors. Because we have changed in a previous video from being paid the month we made the sale to being paid one month after we make the sale, there might just be a problem with the debtors in our balance sheet. So we're just going to redo that formula. So we're multiplying the seasonality factors by the sales for year two and we get a balance sheet to balance. Do the same for year three. And you can download a full version of this spreadsheet from irisstartupcenter.com. 
and you can use that as a template for your financial planning.